In the following quick tip, I'm going to show you how to change vol content cache location directory to a different folder. And the reason you'd want to do that is to free up more space on your C drive. So if you scroll down inside this vault section, I have all these projects that have been downloaded from the marketplace or from the learn section. And many of them have been downloaded to my C drive and are stored there so I can quickly create projects from them. And right now, it takes up 25 gigs of space. If I quickly go to settings, then scroll down to edit vault cache location, here's the default directory where these cached vault files are stored. C drive, program files, Epic Games, Launcher, vault cache. So if I quickly go and navigate into that folder, here I have a set of cached vault projects that are ready to be used. And they're just sitting there waiting for me to create a project from them and just taking up space. And 25 gigs is a lot of space, especially if you are using an SSD drive and it's not very big. So you want to store these files somewhere else and free up your C drive for more important installation files, such as another version of UE4. So I'm going to go ahead and change this vault section directory to another drive. I'm going to go back into the launcher, settings, and edit vault cache location. I'm going to click on browse, and you can navigate anywhere on your computer other than your C drive. So I'm going to go into E drive, projects, UE4 projects, and I'm going to create a new folder and call it vault cache. And then click on select folder. And back in this menu, I'm going to hit apply. Then go back to the original Vault Cache folder, the one on the C drive, Program Files, Epic Games, Launcher, Vault Cache. And I'm going to grab these Project Vault folders, cut them, Control X, and then go into the E drive, into the new Vault Cache folder, and then paste them into this new folder, since this is now the new location where I want all the Vault Cache files to be kept. And that's it. The vault cache on your C drive will now be empty. We freed up 25 gigs of space and any new downloaded project files from the marketplace or from the learn section will go into the E drive into the new vault cache folder instead of your C drive. If you ever need to reset this for some reason, you can always do so by clicking on reset, but this will greatly help to keep it on another storage drive instead of your C drive to free up a lot of space. You also might have to restart the launcher for the settings to take effect. And here we are. I restarted the launcher and this has been now updated. So now if I decide to create a project, let's say from this blueprints project files, which can be found inside the learn section. And I don't have it in my vault cache files, meaning that I haven't downloaded these files before. So I would just simply create the project, choose where I want the project to be stored. And this is just a regular way for you to create projects in UE4 in order to get access to the files in the editor. And then once I've done that, the actual files for this project will have to be downloaded first. And this is where the vault cache file directory comes into play. It would create the project for me to open, but then it would also store the cached bloop an example project inside the vault cache folder for later usage. But since we changed this to the E drive, it happens automatically without you having to do anything. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this quick tip, please give it a like, subscribe so you don't miss any more videos, and visit worldoverleveldesign.com for more tutorials and exclusive content. And I'll see you in the next video.